my heart is racing because I've just seen this. I didn't know what that it was, right? I just seen this. All I seen was those horns. I thought it must be a cow. I have never seen a goat. Look at the size of it. He stood up a minute ago. I got him on photo. He's got pretty good. I wouldn't want to be chased by one, see? Look at the size of that! What? He's a big goat. Look at you! pretty big. Look at his, he's got big ones and you've got one in there. There will be more. Yeah, Cody. You gonna get up so I take more pictures? You gonna get up, Cody? No, he's moving. Look. Come on. Come on. Got a little short legs at the back though, isn't he? He is absolutely massive. He's moving on though. They're pretty good. Look, they're all moving on. I wouldn't want to fall out with that. Look at the size of those horns. I tell you, that is the biggest goat I've ever seen in my life. Around here, anyway. The biggest set of horns I've ever seen. He's a king goat, he is. King goat, my God. I caught that at the corner of my eye, you know those goats. This is up here, this is um, where I am, is above the reservoir and everything. <sighs> Piney Slights this is. And um, it's chip I saw, first of all, I just saw the, the smaller horn, so I took a picture of him. Then suddenly, as I was taking a picture of him, I seen this massive horn move nearby. It's gone. I've seen this massive one. He's in there eating some trees, isn't he? They could do some serious damage. Amazing, folks. This is Sheila on her, one of her day trips out over Cheddarway. I was only talking about the, on another video, I was just mentioning how the small herds, well, big herds, but small goats, looked domesticated. They even looked like they'd been shorn, you know, sheeped, sheared. That is absolutely amazing. I can still see him now. I can still see his big horns. In there. As he moves about. Look! 
as he's eating. Now that, actually, that ain't the one. That's the black-haired one. He's got big horns as well. There's the other one. Look. Oh my God. They are massive. Well, that was worth what that was worth me coming back in because I did think that they might attack me, right? You don't know with me. I when Jonie was small, she, goats used to butt her. It was either, either Jonie or Georgia, one of them. Oh, that was big. I wouldn't, I could have easily thought last week I was walking in and out these bumps. Imagine coming over the bumps seeing that and you think, Are you safe? Oh my god. That was well worth it, everyone, wasn't it? Look at this beautiful scene. Good old style. I wasn't planning to do any more videos. That's absolutely amazing, folks. I've just been taking some photos of the lichen on these... Years ago, I would have known what these were called because we did lichen studies when part of our pollution studies when I was a student. And depending on the, there was a score, depending on the type of lichen, would determine how polluted your air was. Um, up on the Gondocks, you you've got lichens that are big, hairy things. Now that is pure air, apparently. And these ones almost look like cement. These almost look like cement, right? So I'm going to find out because I've forgotten what they are called. I got a feeling this one's called Xanthoria color plaque, but it might not be. This yellow one here. Next to a little. So that's interesting. Right, so there's a bit of an extra half an hour gone, but it was worth it. That was well worth it. That's what I like about being out in the Somerset countryside. You never know what you're going to see. And some of you might say it's only a goat. I'll tell you what, though. That was those horns. I have never seen a goat around here like this because that. I didn't even think it was a goat, first of all. I thought it was some sort of cow with the size of them. My goodness. I can just imagine Zara's dog Maggie looking like that with horns. She's um, that colour. We always call her goaty. Oh, I have to show Zara that. Anyway, look, this is like the winding down of the walk now. So it was, I was just walking by here when I seen a horn of goat and I thought, oh, I'll take a picture of that one. It was the, when I was taking a picture of the smaller goat, I seen the, this huge horn arrive. I wonder what it was, so I had to go back in. I had to go back in. Yeah, this is the wind down now, really. Um, I was over the other side of the gorge this morning. I walked all the way along the top, taking photos, videos, um, summer scenes, you know, all that sort of thing. Oh, trousers, I reckon I've lost weight, you know. These trousers are starting to fall down. I'm not going to, there's got some retour over there, I'm not going to bother, um... Because <sighs> that hole's got bigger, innit? 
Somebody's destroying the wall here. The goats could get through there. That big goat, if he put his horns through there, he'd make a lot of damage, wouldn't he? Big hole down there. Shall I put a little stone on there? I'll put a little stone on there. There we go. Yeah, goats could get through that. Could hurt somebody though, couldn't it? Right then, here we are, look. Here's the beauty all around everybody. Crooks Peak, Brent Knoll, Axbridge Reservoir, Cheddar Gorge, I mean how beautiful is all that, eh? Somebody's little thing. There's a little stone I sometimes sit on and have a picnic there. I might just do that now and have a drink of water actually. Walk towards the gorge, like I said, I stood over there earlier. And I went towards Black Rock through Longwood, then back up the stony pathway, and then across country. Because at the moment there's only goats out. No. There's the big stone. Cows in that field yet. I've sat here with my daisy. We had a little break here once. It's beautiful. I think we've got, I've even got a picture of her um, here. Sat here. I think I've got a photograph of her sat here. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And it's getting more beautiful because of the green coming out. Right over now.